Oh. <laughs> oh, precious babies, come in. You have woken up the entire building. Oh? Well, have you brought my breakfast? No, I haven't brought your damn breakfast. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I have to turn your TV off. <laughs> oh, I see you brought your charming husband. You know what? For the thousandth time, this is not my husband. We are not married. Yes, I know how it is with you people. <laughs> I was at Lenny Bernstein's the other night, and he was explaining. And then See, I got... She's off again. No, 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 maybe she'll snap back. Lenny's very progressive, as I am. I've always been a friend of the colored people. <laughs> Mavis, you must always know your place. Where's your uniform? <laughs> I am not the maid. I own this hotel. Uh, uh, Miss Trombor, might I prevail upon you to keep your TV volume down? It's disturbing the other occupants. Well, of course you may. <laughs> Is something burning? Oh, my clothes are dry. <laughs> you know clothes are dry. You don't have a dryer. Well, of course I do. Right under the stove. <laughs> Yeah. Are you crazy? You want to kill somebody? Why are you trying to burn down my hotel? Oh, which reminds me, could you run out and buy me a package of Chesterfield? <laughs> I'll let you keep a nickel. Well, absolutely, Miss Diana. And then I was going to get me a moon pie and a grape soda, and then I was going to put the rest in the bag. Now, that's a good idea. <laughs> Finally, I got the lycra from her girdle scraped off the oven. At least she's using her oven now. I caught her trying to cook a hot pocket with the iron. Well, I like Diana. I mean, she always says that I look like people I've never heard of. I mean, who is this Peter Lorry? I don't know, but my guess is he sweats a lot. <laughs> My guess is he would never use a Spritz 409 instead of showering. Have you been working out? Upper body mainly. Mmm, mommy likes. Daddy knows. I'm telling you, she's trying to burn the damn hotel down. You better go to the dentist and get you some dental records, because that's all that's standing between you and an unmarked grave. <laughs> Mavis, I've looked into it, and there's nothing we can do. She's had her apartment here for quite some time. What do you mean, quite some time? She's been here since before Jesus was born. <laughs> She's paying the same rate she paid in 1963. Well, you knew that was part of the deal when you bought the hotel. Oh, no. Legally, she can stay here as long as she wants. Well, it's a problem for me, because I'm getting tired of people complaining about her nude sunbathing on the roof. <laughs> in her defense, she thought she was on the Riviera with Ole Cassini. <laughs> where she thought she was. She was on the roof with Nassim Cotton Jami buck naked smoking a cigar. <laughs> and when I tell you it wasn't pretty, you got to take my word for it. Diana. Thank God you're here. J. Edgar Hoover has locked himself in my room again. He's prancing around in my underwear. He's a Nancy boy, you know. Diana, your room is upstairs. You know, the honeymoon couple inside just called down to say that your banging is interfering with their banging. I have to get back in. I'm drawing a bath. What are you talking? <laughs> Hold this. I will. <laughs> harassing me. If I don't call you back, there's a reason. You know what, Bren? I know how busy you are, but you need to focus, child, okay? Because we need to discuss your grandmother. What did the old prune do this time? Well, for one thing, she asked me to sing Old Man River while mopping up a flood from her bathtub. You called me here to tell me that? Bren, your grandmother's been slipping. Yeah, she's old. Old people slip. So do young people when they push. <laughs> Mavis, we had a social worker come out and Oh, we come were... on, it was from the Department of Old People. The Department of Protective Services whatever, for Adults. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Your grandmother's a problem. They looked at her, they talked to her, they said she got to go away somewhere. Uh, Bren, 
Protective Service has found a place where your grandmother will be well taken care of. Then why don't you just send her? Because we can't just send her. Why not? Because, Rosemary's baby, we need a signature <laughs> from a family member. Well, okay, Kizzy, where am I supposed to get papers like this? Well, let's see. <laughs> Department of Protective Services. <sighs> Look who I found outside, all naked, shaking her naturals. Ugh. You know, darling, if you took lessons in diction, you could pass for what? <laughs> White. Try it again. Next time, as if your life depended on it. I am white. No use. Hi, Graham. Hi, Graham. Well, Bryn, what are you doing here? Aw, Graham, do I need a reason to come visit you? Just one. Inheritance. You were outside wearing nothing? No. I had my pearls. <laughs> I'm going to the theater tonight. I'm going to see you, Britter, and the King and I. Oh, well, you better hurry up and get her dressed, because you know it starts in 1954. <laughs> Listen, your grandmother's become a liability. She's scaring my guests, and she's making me a little nervous, too. I'm trying to run a hotel here. OK, well, this is too much to read. It feels like homework. Uh, <laughs> let me be your tutor. If she keeps setting the place on fire, there could be lawsuits. So? Which would siphon off all of her assets. So? Which would deplete your inheritance, leaving you with nothing. OK, bye-bye, Grandma. Listen, how much longer is the social worker going to be up there? You Americans and how you treat the elderly. Iranian families, old people, are never just shuttled off to some home. They just park themselves on the couch. And they are there. <laughs> Forever. I don't want to speak to that horrible colored woman. <laughs> Where exactly am I going? Some place you'll make new friends and meet a lot of single men. I'm through with men. They're all homosexuals. <laughs> I packed you some tea sandwiches, dear. When you're drawing up your will, remember who was good to you. <laughs> I will, Anastasia, I will. Mm. <laughs> and by the way, I'm not recommending this hotel to anyone. I'm going to erase the entire sordid affair from my memory. So am I. <laughs> Excuse me, nurse. Uh, We're here to see Diana Trumbor. Trumbor, Trump. I think she's one of them. <laughs> Come on. This place has an odd smell, man. It smells like rose water and low tide. <laughs> Hey, Diana. Hello, madam. We brought the, the rest of your stuff. How's it going? Drop dead, you odious hobbit. <laughs> she sent me here to die. Don't you worry, my darling. Once we're married, we'll buy ourselves a glorious apartment. We'll take a fabulous European vacation, then we'll make extravagant love. <laughs> Who the hell are you? I'm Andrew. I'm her boyfriend. Oh, that's very nice. How long have you two been together? <laughs> we met this afternoon. He's a financial planner, you know. Oh, is he? Yeah. Well, what exactly are we advising today, Andrew? We advising about insurance? We advising about her jewels? Or is it all about the booty? <laughs> I'm tired of this conversation. I'm sorry. She's had no rest. She's been bickering with her. Supposed to have a private room. <laughs> As if she could afford a private room. All she has is Social Security and Medicare. What? You mean you are not rich, but you are so, so fancy? It's called good breeding. <laughs> She's not rich. Apparently not. But what do you care? Because it's all about the booty for you. Pardon me. Shirley, darling, I see you're off the oxygen today. <laughs> Listen, can I do anything for you? Can I get you anything? Well, my mouth is dry. I'd love something to drink. OK. Nurse? <laughs> I think he just told us, hold up. Excuse me, nurse. Nurse. Nurse! 
Get the lady something to drink. She's thirsty. She gets her drink at 2.30. <laughs> I said, get her something to drink. Look, it's only 15 minutes. I swear to God, I will slap you back to the Philippines. Get that girl something to drink. <laughs> Wrong with you. I don't want this. I want single malt scotch. Once I was sipping cocktails with young Jack Kennedy. Here she goes with the stories. Hey, if she says she was sipping cocktails with a Kennedy, she was sipping the cocktails with a Kennedy child. <laughs>